Good morning children. Welcome to your English class. In today's English class, we are going to start a new unit from your Marigold book. The unit is Unit 7. And like the other units, it has one poem and one story. First, we will read the poem. The poem is called A Kite. Here, we will learn about a child who wants to be a kite. So, let's read the poem. A kite. I often sit and wish that I could be a kite. Up in the sky and ride upon the breeze and go whichever way I chanced to blow. So here the child is saying that he often sit and thinks that if he could be a kite so that like the kite he can also go up in the sky and he will Ride upon the breeze. Breeze means the flow of wind. When the wind blows, it is called breeze. So the child thinks that he will be a kite and go up with the breeze. And he will go whichever way he wanted. So nobody will stop him. So, let's recite the poem once more. Try to read the poem with me. A Kite I often sit and wish that I could be a kite up in the sky and ride upon the breeze and go whichever way I chanced to blow. So this was the poem about a child who wants to be a kite. Now we will read the story about another kite. This is called Sundari. The story is called Sundari. The story has been adapted from Cleo by Ruth Diction. Cleo by Ruth Diction. The story has been adapted from this story. Cleo by Ruth Diction. Now children, we will read about Sundari. So let's start the story Sundari. Sundari. Sundari was a big red, white and blue kite. When Bobby made her she smiled at him. So Sundari here is a kite. And the kite has three colors. White, red and blue. The boy called Bobby made her. And when she was made, she smiled at Bobby. You are beautiful and I will call you Sundari. He said. As you know, the word Sundari means beautiful. So Bobby said to the kite that as you are very beautiful, I will call you Sundari. One day Bobby took Sundari to the fair. One day Bobby wanted to fly the kite. So he went to the fair. <coughs> the band was playing and everyone was smiling. In the fair, a band was playing some songs and music. And everybody was very happy. They were smiling. A merry-go-round was playing a happy little tune. It was carrying lots of boys and girls round and round on the wooden animals. And there was also a merry-go-round. 
that was carrying lots of boys and girls in the wooden animals. And as it went up and down, a little music was playing. A sweet little tune was playing. When the merry-go-round was going up and down. Now, Bobby looked for an open space where he could run and fly the kite. He Sundari looked too. Now, Bobby wanted to fly the kite. To fly the kite, Bobby needed a clear space. A space where nobody will disturb him. And he could run and fly the kite. Out in the grass ran Bobby, holding up his kite as high as he could. When he went to the green grassland, he started to run with the kite. As high as he could, he held it. Puff, the wind came along. Sundari started to fly up. When the wind came, with the wind, Sundari fly up in the sky. But she could not go very high. But Sundari could not go very high in the sky. Because, because a little dog was holding her long tail. She had a long tail. And a little dog was holding the tail. So Sundari could not go up in the sky because of the dog. It was in his mouth. The dog held the tail in his mouth. He was holding the tail with his mouth. So Sundari could not go up in the sky. Now what happened? Bobby shoot the dog away. Bobby shoot the dog away means he shoo at the dog and made the dog went away. He made the dog to go away from that place. We will try again, Bobby said. Bobby said to Sundari that we will try again. Let's do it again. This time Sundari leaped up in the air. She tugged hard. This time Sundari wanted to go very high. So she leaped up into the air. Leap means to jump. It was like the kite was like jumping in the sky. <coughs> she tugged hard. Oh, how she wanted Bobby to let go of her string. Now Sundari wanted to go very high up. So she tugged hard. She was tugging the string very hard. So that Bobby let her go and she can go very high up. We cried Sundari. Now I can fly as high as I please. Now in the end Bobby had to let her go. And as she was flying up, she said, We. Why she said, We? Because she was very happy. And she said that now I can go as high as I want. And away she went. She flew up, up, up in the air. And the kite called Sundari really went up in the sky and the boy Bobby could not see her. So this was the story about the kite Sundari. She was a beautiful kite and she wanted to fly very up in the sky. So she tugged her string so hard that Bobby had to let her go and in the end she flew high up in the sky. So this is the story Sundari. I hope you have understood unit 7. I will meet you in my next class. Till then take care.